<laughs> right, okay, so um, mixing skin tones, probably everybody's biggest fear. <laughs> So, mixing skin tones, probably everybody's biggest fear. Um, I just used red, brown, a bit of this sort of, um, what's it called? Okra, okra, um, but yeah, this sort of burnt yellow, um, yellow and a little bit of lighter red, or was that or orange it was, um, and purple, which you wouldn't have thought, but ah. it does make a difference. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, could you? So, red, yeah. brown, yeah. Uh, a light brown or a brown yellow okra. Uh, it's called okra. Yeah. Yeah. Orange, light yellow, and um, purple. And then I've mixed them together, and I've had to keep mixing and mixing and inputting different um, ratios of things. How did I figure it out? Well. If you look at that colour there, would you say that that is anything like the colour of my hands? No, no, absolutely not, okay? It's not too far off, actually. It's shocking, isn't it? Okay. So I've been testing on my skin. So it's a good little hat, yeah. okay? It's a bit like when you buy foundation. You yeah. Know. Yeah. yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. So it's just so simple, but it's just yeah. how I learned to do it. And when I started mixing, I started off with that one. It's way too light wow. because our um, kind of our ideas, we have such deeply ingrained associations with skin tone and what we look like and what other people look like. that We don't actually realise the tone actually sometimes of our skin. So I didn't even realise. So I thought my skin was a lot lighter than that. So when you looked at that, you went, oh no, that's, that's way too dark. So, I, and I thought that too. So I started too light and then I had to mix in. And actually the only thing that really got it is that close to my skin tone was adding the purple. That was the yeah, major yeah. ingredient. That was the last thing that I added that really changed it yeah, and really yeah. did it for me. So, sorry, which, so which sort of, would you use so three? You think, you've got blood. As a general. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. So which three would you use the most? Mm. Um, probably brown, this okra, the red and the white, a, hit, a pint of the red because the red's quite strong. It's very tempting to do skin colours quite pinky, but a lot of people actually do have a warm undertone to their skin. And depends on who, who you're depicting. Um, but I've got a cooler undertone, which is where the purple is really cooled the colour down. Um, so just experiment and keep mixing. If you don't want to paint on your hands, um, another good idea, obviously this colour's way too dark, um, another good idea is to mix your skin tone and do it onto the paper so you can start to, so I've added a lot more white there to it and then I can start to try and find the match that's right for my little girl based on that photo. And I can see she's got a bit more red in her skin tone now. It needs a little bit more pink, pinkish and wow. stuff like that. So I can start to kind of mix that way by painting yeah. onto the, the photo. Yeah. So it is a process. It takes a little while of sort of mixing and matching, but that would be my main hack for <laughs> getting the skin tone. It look, it's very deceiving because if you are mixing on a white palette, Mm -hmm. everything looks darker. Uh, so you all, me included, looked at that and went, that's way too dark for my sort of skin tone. But it's because it's on white. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so do be aware of that. So do just, you know, you do need to go sometimes darker than you think you should. Then in terms of actually applying it to your pictures, so here, when I've started to apply that on, I've done it in a curve. So I've remembered that there's that eyeball behind there, which is going to shape and give a contour. And I've started to 
um, do it in the direction of the eye. If I just painted it flat, it's going to look very flat. So it's all about the direction that you go in. If you end up having... Can you see these white dots in here? That means one of two things. You've either not got enough paint or you've not got enough water. So you can add some more and you can add some more water and that's going to make it look smooth. Acrylic is quite fast drying. So I only did that a few minutes ago and it's already dry. So unfortunately, it doesn't give you a lot of time to blend on the on the page. So that's why you need to mix up all your different tones. So if you've got more than one skin tone, which you will have because there's light in some areas, dark in some other areas, you need to mix up all the tones ready because you can't always blend them on the page like you can do with oils, if you see what I mean. Uh -huh. With the nose, um, I deliberately added a little bit of white there for a highlight because you always have a little bit of a highlight on your nose. And again, I'm starting to do this kind of following the contours and following the shape that we've drawn underneath. So it gets that kind of rounded sense. Mm -hmm. And I'm not even using much really. I'm not using much paint at all. So all the time when I'm painting, I'm thinking about the shape and how I can accentuate that shape as well. And if you want the skin to look smooth, then you need to use a smooth brush. So pointy brushes, are really good for adding in the detail, like the nostrils I could add in there and stuff like that. But I'm actually using quite a flat brush. Um, you could use one that's like this as well. So it doesn't have to be flat on the top, but that's still quite a flat brush, a thin brush. It's got a curved edge. And then keep your pointy ones for all the actual like details around the eyes and stuff like that. Um, Lips, what do we think about lips, colours of skin and the lips? Yeah, those are very orangey. So that looks way too bright to me. So again, gonna ha I'm going to have to really dull that down with the skin tone that I've already mixed. And then, no, it's too dark. So it's just a case of going back, mixing in. So I'm going to add a bit of the orangey to lift it, maybe a tiny bit of that yellow as well, just to lift it. Still too dark, I think. Might add a bit more of that orangey colour. Still no lip left. <laughs> yeah. If you want you could add a white, but you add orange. What's that? To lighten it? Yeah. Um, you can, yeah, so that's the other thing. You can lighten colours, not just with white. Um, you can lighten them with yellow, orange, like different colours as well. Um, and like I say before with the skin, adding the purple, sometimes it's not always the colours that you think it will be. So just experiment. Today is all about experimenting. Is it because those colours are warmer? Yeah. And that, yeah, basically, yeah. You're right. Add a bit more pink sort of starting to get closer now to that colour of the lip. Yeah, oh gosh, she loves wearing makeup and all that sort of thing. So... I always think your lips are paler than you think, but when you wake up in the morning, you, I always wear lipstick because my lips are so pale. Yeah. Maybe because of our age. Oh yeah, I don't feel like that. I, yeah. I, have, to, yeah, I, put, I have to go out. I say, if I go out, I can do not makeup. I have to put lipsticks on. Just makes a little yeah. bit more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she doesn't have. Yeah, lift wearing you a mask. We haven't been yes. wearing it. <laughs> My mum would yeah. never go out the house without her lippy on. I won't go. I won't go out without mascara on. Yeah. I've always been like that. Like our armor. Oh, that's nice. Lips. Yeah, just, yeah. just like that. Yeah. 
So I've painted it flat initially, but then I'm gonna go over, because that's the brilliant thing about acrylics, you can keep layering them up. And I'm now painting in a different direction. I'm now painting in a bit more of a sort of curved direction mm -hmm. so yes. that they don't look, yeah, so that they don't look too flat. And so I'm sort of smoothing it out a bit and kind of blending a little bit on the page before it dries. So yeah. So give it a go, see how you get on. It's just a tester, so don't, no pressure or anything like that. Any questions? Go for it, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.